Okay guys, um, kind of a sad kind of video today. This is um, a farewell to PlayStation Home. Now what's playing is, um, it's Starless Den music. If you have ever played it, you should know. Um, some old, it's just disco music actually that's there. Um, yeah, so um, if you played, you should know. Anyway, so we're going to be talking about what it was and what it could have been in the future. Um, I feel that Sony made a wrong move deleting PlayStation Home. Um, it you know it launched on on, on the PS3 on the 20th of Sept uh, December 2008, and it's finally closed on the 30, uh, 31st of March 2015. So it could have been something amazing. They could have continued it. Um, it's only been around for like six years or so, and um, you know I think they could have added more. I think they could have continued it onto the PS4. They could have still done the exclusives that they did usually do on the, um, you know, on the PS3 that they did. Um, but yeah, I think it's just stupid, you know. I actually, when did I get this system? I think I got it. I got it after GTA 4 came out. I think that was 2009. I think I got it 2009, 2010. I got PS3. And I sort of played it from then, um, and a lot of cool memories, you know. Um, I it's sad because I I couldn't play PlayStation Home. I couldn't play it. The reason why is because my PS3 has finally died, so I couldn't play it. What well, I mean, I couldn't play it for the last few, few days it was on, um, and it just annoyed me, like. They didn't get like all the stuff they had in the store. They could have gave that away for free for 24 hours because it's gonna, it's gonna be all gone anyway. So what's the point? You might as well just let everyone have it. It's 24 hours. They're not getting anything out of it anyway. It's a, it's a, a virtual item. They're not gonna, they're not taking it home. They're not, they haven't got a 3D printer. They're not gonna keep it. It's something that's gonna be gone, including everything they've owned and everything, they, everything they've owned it to begin with. So you should have gave them everything that you had in the store for free. That is all out of order that you didn't do that in the first place. However, the um, the gift donator machine was free. Um, all the stuff that you could gift, you can gift friends and gift yourself for money that you buy in the game. They made everything free. They had they had stuff that I wanted to get when when it was on there. They had the laser gun. They had all loads of like machines and stuff you could get. And it's just I don't know. I think that it's an unnecessary ending. I think that Sony have kind of fucked over everyone. Um, I'm, I'm no longer supporting Sony. Um, PlayStation 4 is a pile of shit, and so is the Xbox One. I used to support Sony. I used to be a little fanboy if you watch my old videos. First of all, you make the fucking... You make you make it having to you have to pay for online. Why? When have you ever needed to for the fucking PS3? You then decide to fuck over everyone that plays PlayStation Home. Stuff that you made loads of money from and continue you continued to make money from on to the very last second. People still bought stuff. Um what else? You charged over the odds anyway for a lot of the stuff on there. Um, just, just, it's just shit now. Like everything, everything they do is just shit. Um, I don't know. Um, but PlayStation Home to me was a fun place. Um, I have very fond memories of. This was back when my parents were together, and you know I played it back in like 2009, 2010. Um, used to go on Dollar's Den a lot, like not in Dollar's Den, Dollar's Amusement Park thing, one and two. I remember playing the first one, and you'd do, you'd have like mini games, and you'd have tokens, and you'd have to buy some, but they were cheap anyway, and you'd win a, you'd win rewards for it. So it was kind of like, well, it's worth it in the end. It was kind of like that's how it was. It was kind of like, yeah, let's do it. It was kind of like being in an actual amusement park. Um, won a lot of awards on there, like a lot. A lot of rewards. Um, 
I, you know, I put a lot of effort in. I spent so many hours playing that. And one thing that sticks out mostly um, is the, I think it's the SOCOM centre. Um, I never played the games, SOCOM, but they had a centre, an army centre, and you, you'd have an AK-47, and you'd put it together, and you'd have the controls, and you'd, it would show you what you'd have to do, and you did it. That was awesome, right? Because I'm into guns anyway, you know that. I've always been into guns. And then you got the chance to find golden get golden AK-47 parts. You find parts around the map, you go all around the map, find them all. I found all of them. And then you had to put it together without having any of the instructions. So you had to remember all of it. I tried to write it down. <coughs> I remember I wrote it down. I couldn't do it because you had to do it in a time limit. So you had to do it really fast. You had to put the gun together take every bit off and put it together and I did it I actually managed to do it without the instructions I somehow did it I had the golden AK I had a model of it a massive model of an AK that you could put in your apartment I fucking loved that I've even got I put a screenshot by my PS3 fucked anyway I need to get all the stuff off the hard drive and put onto another one I need to get another one there's a screenshot of my AK on there and that took a lot of effort to do time and effort and I don't need you guys commenting down below oh you, you should have read the terms and conditions it said no and this was permanent it was all temporary and it could close down at any minute I don't care like none of you expected that to happen and I don't I don't care what any of you say none of you expected it to happen and I don't I don't, I don't, I don't um my PlayStation um, home video that was uh, it was a petition to stop PlayStation from closing, it was kind of like a little video out there, you know, like, I, I don't agree with this type thing, right? Fucking awesome feedback, I got so many people saying, yeah, I'm with you, and all that kind of shit, right? Placed it, you know, Sony didn't give a fuck, they didn't even listen to any of us. I got no way of playing it, you know, well, I, I can't play it now, it's closed, but... I had no way of playing it. It was kind of like, fuck you, you're not even going to get You know, you won't get a PS3 by the time it closes. I couldn't do anything. Um, so I couldn't ever, I can't ever access my stuff ever again. And there's so much work I put into it. Like, it's not just all the shit I bought. It's not just about that. It's just about the effort that I put into it. All the awards I won and all the stuff that I got. It's just gone. I saw Diamond Tron's video. It was like he was in his, he, he was in a suit, and he was literally um, just sat there playing really sad music with his sunglasses on in a suit. And I felt bad. I felt, you know, I, I feel the same way as him. Like a lot of us do. Um, he did disable the comments. I was going to comment on there. Not, not anything horrible. Just like you know, you know Chirp Man and stuff like that. Diamond Tron's probably watching this now. And um, my fun fact: I met Diamond Tron. He's on YouTube. Check him out. Um, I met him on Duke Nukem Forever on the PS3. A lot of people wouldn't expect something good to come out of that, and it it did. And we also played PlayStation Home together. Um, some more fond memories I I have is um, God, I remember that so much is when um, Dead Island was going to come out. You know the first one, the fucking awesome game. I was so excited for it, and they made a space for it. They made like a PlayStation Home space, and like it looked like the island basically it had jet chairs, blood all over them and shit. Won loads of awards from that. Awards of deck chairs you could sit on for your apartment. Um, and there's this cool little camera thing. And it is like um, little huts that you could you know you get dressed in in, in the game. You don't actually get dressed in the game, but it's there. And there's zombies in them sometimes. Um, and they had them. And you could take pictures with your character with zombies chasing you and shit. And I did loads of that. I've got loads of screenshots on my PS3. Um, what else? I got T-shirts from it as well. And um, yeah, I remember being really excited for the game because it looked fucking awesome. Then you know nothing else was really like that. Yeah, Left 4 Dead was like similar to it, but it wasn't as good. Um, as, wasn't as good. No, Left 4 Dead wasn't as good with the melee aspect of it. And, um, yeah, I remember getting Dead Island the, the day it came out. I actually didn't know it was out on that day, and I saw my friend from school playing on it, and I was like, fuck. So I literally went and got the game straight away, because I was, I was really excited for it. And, um, yeah. Um, just loads of stuff like that. I remember, I remember being at my grandma's house 
back when, um, yeah, back in when when you know when I first started playing it, and I remember bringing my PS3 over there, and um, I remember just well, going around the little bowling area and playing pool and playing bowling, and playing the little arcade machines and shit. So many like just fun times I had on there. Um, and I know people can. Like slack me off going, oh you're so like lame, you know, it's only a game, but it was really fun to, to the time. Um I can't explain it. Like if you didn't if you haven't if you haven't experienced something like this before, then you won't know you won't know what, what it was like. But um it's just a sad time. Um it, I feel like an old fucker now because it's gone and no, it will be, it'll be forgotten in time. It will be because the original fans will fuck off or die or whatever. And when PS5 comes out or whatever, it'll be forgotten by then, and no one will ever remember PlayStation Home. It'll be gone because no one, no, you know, all the new little chav fanboys will go, oh, I don't really know what that is. And yeah, it had problems. Of course, it did. The the fucking paywalls and shit that it had. You know, it'd give you a free apartment, you'd be like, oh, awesome. And then it'd be like, yeah, you can go in the hallway, but you, ha you can't go in the bedroom, the bathroom, the, you know, you can't go anywhere, there's like a, a line across it, and you have to pay £2 for each room. It's like, oh, well, it's only £2, but if you add it up, it's like £20 for the whole lot. So you basically, you basically paid for the apartment by that point. There's all sorts of shit like that in there. And, yeah, just stuff like that. It, it did have problems. Apparently, the um, PlayStation Home was still in beta testing. It, it was still, it was still um, marked off as a beta testing. It wasn't actually a proper system. It wasn't even like announced as a proper system. So, um, yeah, it's been going on for how long now? 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2014, 2015. So seven years. Um, I was probably playing for five years, I think, or, or four. It was either six years or five years. It was one of them. It was a long time ago. I remember that. Um, it was just it was fun. Um, I don't really want it to go. You know, I don't think it should have gone because it's like, well, it doesn't cost. Well, it must cost you servers, but it doesn't. It's not like it's costing them that much, considering people buy shit on there and they, they make so much money off that. They've fucked themselves over because if they have a bankruptcy, they can't fall back on something. They can't fall back on that. What have they got to fall back on now? You tell me, because I don't know. PlayStation Plus? That, that I think that's even a, a requirement now to play online. You have to get that. I don't know what else they could fall back on if they did have to. PlayStation Home could be one of them. It's an extra thing they would be making money from. I don't know what their problem is, considering you know they had so many fans that liked that, that bought shit on there. That like, I knew people that bought shit on there, and now it's just gone. My hair's a mess. Anyway, so yeah, what can I say? It's been a fun time, I guess. Um. I don't know what to say now really, it's kind of like a shit ending. It, it was like, I saw I saw videos, it was like, oh, it's, you know, it was like a message from them, thanks for making everything great, but they, it was like they never sort of thanked you really properly, it was kind of like, thank you, thank you for giving all your money, bye, it was kind of like that, and it, I think what really pissed me off at the top is when they didn't give, they didn't make everything in the store for free. It's not that they're losing money. They're losing money. Not get, they're not. They're losing money getting rid of it, right? They're not. Good, it's not going to change anything. Giving you, I don't know, a hat or a, a jumper or a gun or something for 24 hours, which is going to be thrown away anyway. It's like it's like saying, do you want this sandwich? And then and then someone goes, yeah, and you just throw it in a bin. It's like, well, just give it to someone while they can. Let them enjoy it. Let them enjoy something you've made while it's there. You know. You know, you, should, you probably understand what I mean by now, but it's just ridiculous. 